My biggest thing that I learned in college, it's really windy out here. I have no problem pushing myself, like when I need to be pushed, but then, Good morning, fellas. It's January 16th, Monday, 10, 16 a.m. It's pouring rain outside here in San Diego, like pouring, like gusting wind, like 20 miles an hour. <gasps> Everyone that lives anywhere else is like, Shut the heck up, Emma, it's freezing here. Okay, yeah, well, 58 degrees here is kind of freezing too, okay? You know, I pay the big bucks to live in San Diego, not for it to be 50 degrees. First world problems. Look at my running fit though. See like me wearing shorts and a tank top crop thing and complaining that it's cold. I do it to myself. I do it to myself. Welcome back to my channel. I'm being motivated and I'm filming today because I'm in the mood. I'm feeling a little giddy. <laughs> I'm just really energetic and I think it's because I'm cold so I'm like trying to like warm up and yeah. I like truly am going insane living alone I think. Anyways, uh, today we're just doing an easy six miles, six milos. Seeing how my legs feel today, I'm guessing it's gonna be around 825 pace. That's just my guesstimation. It's also, just like I said, it's windy, it's gusting, so it might be blowing me back. I doubt it though, because I'm a unit. Let me just lay out my weekly schedule for you guys, because running training is really boring. Everyone kind of does the same stuff all the time. This is why at this point in my running career, like I don't really feel like I need a coach right now because I know what I have to do to get in shape. It's more just doing it. Then maybe later down the road, I'll get a coach again. But right now it's just boring base training that every single person I know does. Your days might be a little bit different than mine, different order of workouts, whatever, but this is my structure. So Monday, easy run with strides for like 100 meter strides at the end of my run. Just to pick up the legs, get the cadence moving, get the cadence flowing, you know what I mean? Easy six mile, usually it's like six mile run. Tuesday, we've got some sort of tempo threshold workout and a lift. And the lift is like light work, you know, it's nothing, we're not getting crazy. Though like my shoulders and my traps, you may be like, whoa, but that's just from swimming when I was like 10 years old, I still have these bad boys. Wednesdays, another easy run. This one I go to PB Run Club, so it's like seven-ish miles usually. And it's like very easy because we stop like five times within a four mile run, but then I run like three miles beforehand. Anyways, seven miles easy on Wednesdays. Thursdays, off. Whoa, who takes their off day during the week? Me. So basically nothing on Thursdays and I just get other work done. Friday is track workout. Right now it's still more like base work type stuff, like. 800s maybe and then a lift again later that day I always lift on my harder days because I just load my body on those days with the work and then recover on other days easy days easy hard days hard Saturday super easy run lately I've just been doing literally like four miles at PB run club again we stop like five times during the run so it's very easy and then Sundays is a long run so nine or ten miles right now i don't really need to go above that and again like that one may, might be more moderate it just depends on how my legs feel like i could go a little bit harder if i wanted to but just depends on the week yeah my biggest thing that i learned in college at oregon people train so smart don't go hard on your recovery days don't do it it doesn't make you a better runner like you're just hurting yourself. I don't want to throw anyone under the bus here. I see this on TikTok all the time. Like people whose PRs are 19 minutes, obviously it's very solid PR in the 5K, but why are you going seven minute pace on your easy runs? I don't want to offend anyone, but if that's you, you need to go easier. Why are you doing that? People on my Oregon team that were running 15 something 5Ks barely ran seven minute pace on their easy runs. Like only sometimes. So go slower on your easy runs, like recover. That's the whole point. And that's what I carry with me to this day is that easy days easy, hard days hard. Okay. Um, let me show you my fit though. Fit check. This is an Outdoor Voices set from literally 2018. This is like a full set in sports bra from literally the Nelk Boys because I am a Nelk Boy, I guess. And then we got the Nike Pegasus Trail Gore, Gore-Tex shoes because it's gonna be puddles out there. And I just feel like wearing trail shoes for some reason. Let's go. Obviously also rocking the Koros Pays 2 watch. Oh, and I got my Under Armour fanny pack. I live by this thing. It looks cold outside. Let's ride. Okay, we're about three miles in. It's really windy out here. You know, I probably could have worn a half sip. Ooh, I'm kind of uh, chilly. My legs feel fine. They're not like great. My calves are still really sore from that track work from the 200s probably and just wearing like flats. I haven't worn flats in so long and especially the streaks like those are literally from 2016. They have literally no support around here. 
It's so rainy, puddly. San Diego is not built for water. That sounds like that doesn't make any sense. There's water all around. It's not meant for precipitation. So there's puddles everywhere. Things are flooded. We're running like 810. Still, I'm comparing it to that long run I did, like week one, where it was like nine minute pace and I was dying. We've made a lot of progress in like six weeks. It's all about consistency, which I have been bad at in the past. But now that I'm enjoying it every day, it makes it way easier. All right. We did it. Ooh, those strides were hard today. I was kind of dying. And also, like sprinting in trail shoes. Probably not the best move. I'm gonna go to the bank right now to go get some coins for my laundry. And I also need to eat something because all I've had today is fills. So I'm feeling very overstimulated on coffee. I need food. I'm kind of dying. We're walking it off. Just kidding. Realized it was a holiday. So, gonna have to wear a sports bra that doesn't fit tomorrow. Love that. Get your steps in. I wanted to walk extra today. My watch says six Milos, 827. Kind of exactly what I was expecting, to be honest. The way there felt better because it was very windy, tailwind, and the way back helping me in the face. We love wind. I look slightly windblown and crusty, but good run. It's all around in the books. What I was thinking on the run, this is the last day one I'm gonna have. I've had so many day ones of like, okay, day one back to training. I knew that I could not do it again. Like I could not have another day one because day one is the hardest day. Like that first week getting back into running is so difficult and it's so easy to kind of check out after that because it's almost like traumatizing how hard it is a lot of the time, especially when you deal with like comparison to your past self like I do and I knew that when I started training again this time, that first week, I was like, this is my last like day one. This is my last week one. I can't say forever for my whole life because you know, I'll probably end up having kids and life happens. But for right now, like with this season of my life and this training era, that's my last day one. Yeah, I've just done it too many times. I'm like the boy that cried wolf. Who's gonna believe me now? Because I've said day one so many times. Well, now we're on day like 50, so. I think we've made it past day one. I'm gonna eat. Actually, I'm gonna shower first because I feel crusty. Maybe I should foam roll? Maybe I'll do that later. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to Chipotle for lunch because I don't feel like making myself food. I definitely have food that I can eat, but <laughs> that's the story of my life. I just love to throw money into a dumpster fire and spend money on things I don't need, like Chipotle. But I kind of need it because I'm hungry. Oh, what I was going to say is that I don't want to turn into a running bot. Since I am a very all or nothing person, I feel like, especially when I was in college, I completely lost my personality and just became a bit of a robot. I don't even know how to describe it. My, just like, my funny side definitely dwindled down. I didn't really feel anything ever. Like, I didn't really feel emotion. And I don't want to turn into a running bot. I don't want it to, like, take over my entire life. And I just have a really bad habit of doing that. Like, when I train too much and when I go too too all in, that's what tends to happen. And I wanna keep my personality so that I keep making these cool videos. Cool. What do I have to do to not become a running bot? Just keep having my social life, like I said, being balanced and not doing too much. Just doing the right amount. You know what I mean? I look kinda of cute in my outfit today. My apartment is kind of a mess. I'm gonna go get me a burrito bowl. Welcome to my mukbang. This, I think, weighs 10 pounds. I love Chipotle, like, I don't crave it that often, but when I do, I need to fill the craving. You know what I mean? <gasps> they, like, really loaded this up today. This is my order that I get every time. Burrito bowl, white rice, black beans, fajita veggies, chicken, mild salsa, corn salsa, cheese guac lettuce. Okay, I need, like, sunglasses for sitting over here. Mm. Okay, everyone like kind of already knows my nutrition philosophy. You know, obviously I'm an intuitive eater. I eat whatever I want basically, but like during training, you know, I'm trying to keep it a little bit healthier, kinda. I can't even say that with like a straight face because I don't really think I'm doing anything different. I think I'm just trying to eat like a little bit better meals. Cause like in the past couple months, you know, I would eat like bags of popcorn as meals because I love popcorn. I'm trying to eat more balanced, I think. Honestly though, I'm eating whatever I want. I feel like people just put way too much stress on nutrition and I definitely have in the past too, where it's like, I feel like I thought I needed to be perfect and you know, I'm kind of just channeling myself in high school, which I didn't really care about what I ate and I just kind of ate whatever and I just want to eat whatever makes me feel good. And today that's a breathable. I feel a little sick.
Tell me why I almost booked myself an ear piercing appointment. Feeling a bit impulsive. I'm not gonna do it, but I was gonna get my triples. I might do it here soon though, but I'm just kind of lazy and I don't really want to do it like within the next couple days. But I had like a, a strong urge. Like if there was an appointment available right now, I would go do it, but there wasn't. Anyways, I feel like this video has just been a lot of talking, but I kind of want to just get more into the daily vlogging because I don't know, I've just been lazy. Like I've only been really filming like one clip of me and then also I'm getting into bed because it's kind of cold. I film like one clip of me in the day and then I go for my run and then that's it. And I'm trying to get better at just, you know, blabbing away and oversharing a little bit to the camera. I wanted to go over like my strengths and weaknesses when it comes to running. You know, everyone has them and I feel like it'd be fun to kind of talk about mine to close out this like part of the video. I would say these are my strengths. I think that I'm a very mentally tough person and I don't know why I think this. I just feel like I think I think most runners are really mentally tough, but I think I just have an elite mental toughness. <laughs> no, I think I have just overcome a lot in terms of my running career, like just my body changing. Obviously, like there's just like new thresholds of pain I feel like I've experienced and I can just like push my body to like the limit. Like I know my body really well just from so many years of running. So that's another strength. I know when I'm kind of overdoing it. I know when I'm underdoing it. I just feel like I know myself well. I think I'm naturally talented to put it bluntly. And you know, we all got a little bit of NT and some have more than others. Some have more than me. I think I just have a little bit that I am dealt, which is nice. I'm not injury prone, so shout out me. Pat myself on the back for that. I think I just have strong bones. I think I'm just pretty smart with my training most of the time. And I think I ate enough during puberty, which saved me for my 20 year old self. I have a good speed and strength combination. I can handle like strength work and I can do it. And then I also have like good, just natural speed. I think probably from my stature, like I'm just kind of like a muscular person. I just have a bit of power in me. I think I just have a naturally like positive attitude and a positive outlook on things. And I'm really grateful for that because I never really get upset that often. I don't really get angry. I'm just kind of like an even keel person, which makes things like really, like I don't really get upset about workouts. I don't really get upset about races. I just am able to brush things off pretty easily. Just very grateful that that's a part of my personality and I feel like it helps me with running. My weaknesses. I'm pretty type B and I think a lot of runners are type A. Like a lot of the ones I know, especially like elite runners, like everyone just seems to want to do everything right. Like everyone just like has the natural drive to do everything perfectly and get everything done and check their boxes and just like, I don't know, go in above and beyond the call of duty. And I think I just get a little bit lazy, like end up not really caring. And I like feel like things are good enough almost, if that makes sense. Yeah, like I just don't have that personality type of like being like super organized, super uh, routine oriented. I don't really think that's that big of a weakness because you can overcome that obviously. I just don't think it is in my natural instinct. I have no problem doing the running. Like I have no problem putting in the miles. I have no problem pushing myself like when I need to be pushed, but then doing stuff like the strength work and the mobility work and the foam rolling and the stretching. I have like, it's not even a mental block. It's like literally me being lazy. Like I have no excuse and I just don't do it. I mean, I do it sometimes, but I just don't do it enough. It's one of my weaknesses. It's like definitely something I can work on. I can improve that for sure. And it would help me. I also have a problem. Like I don't compare myself to others ever really, which is nice because everyone's so different, but I have a really bad habit of comparing myself to my past self and then getting in my own head. Um, I also am, can be really not patient. And so I like want things to happen immediately. And obviously in the sport of running, they don't. So I think I get in my own head and then I just get really overwhelmed and then I implode internally. And that's why I've just struggled to be consistent in the past. I think is that's one of the main reasons is that I just see how far the journey is ahead that I don't even want to start it because I'm like, that's so daunting. Um, and just knowing how far I am away from where I used to be. But I've kind of overcome that now. I don't know. I feel a little bit better about that just after the last like couple years. I have an all or nothing mindset. It's not very good, except for when it comes to strength training. I guess that's that's not included in the all. You know, the hip mobility exercises is not including in the all. Um, it's just the nothing. I will write out like an entire training plan for myself, and then I look at it and I get so overwhelmed that I don't even want to start it because it's so overwhelming because I put too much on it. Like I overload myself with stuff when I decide to go all in. And I think what I'm doing differently now that I'm getting back into this training is that I'm not doing that. Like I'm just kind of taking it week by week and seeing how I feel and going with the flow, but not forcing myself to do anything. So I want to be more balanced. I don't want to be a running bot. I don't want to 
do nothing. I want to be in the middle. I want to be a balanced person. I don't want to do all or nothing. I want to be in the middle, balanced. Um, I think that's kind of it. Let me know what your guys' strengths and weaknesses are in the comments. Would love to hear some more. I mean, nobody's perfect. I feel like especially when you're younger, it's like you have so much time to work on these things. And like, obviously I've had a really long running career and there's still things I could work on. Even when I was at my peak, was I foam rolling enough? No. Was I strength training? Well, not really. Like there's always things that you can work on. And that's just the joy of running is that you know you can keep getting better and better but you'll never be good enough for yourself so it's just a constant chase that's sounds so pessimistic but it's like what makes it fun is that there's just always a new challenge you can always improve yourself i think i'm gonna end the video honestly because i've just chatted so much today it's like i hope you guys have enjoyed my little rants to the camera i feel like i'm having pillow talk with you right now like i'm laying on my comfy follow me on instagram i post all the time on there follow me on strava if you want to see my training tomorrow i have a fart lick and a lift all right peace out fellas